Hello and welcome fellow gamers, my name is Bodek and this is another episode of 7 Days That Modded and we're back with more medieval mode. Yes, we're back baby and this tree is in a way I must cut it down because I don't like having a bush inside my house. Right, nevertheless in the previous episode we've started making some iron ingots so we will be continuing that later on. And actually I completely forgot to loot with you guys this room where I have found book pile 1 where I have found free schematics which is absolutely awesome and fantastic. Quite unfortunately I did not had that on camera and I'm terribly sorry about that. So let's read those exotic weapons schema orcish mallet. Boom, now I know it. Orkish mallet. Orkish mallet. Sledgehammer, beast feather, oh, beast feathers and crystal shards. We need to go to the east or to the west, to, f to the crystal forest to find those crystal shards because they are quite important and I can find them in so many uh, recipes in this in this mm, mod. Right, so the next one is gonna be weapon schematic, advanced bulldogs. Uh, spiked club, iron mace, spiked iron mace. Fantastic, so spiked club. Is it like spiked club? Spiked spiked club, yeah, the normal spiked club and iron mace with forged iron. That's good, that's good, that look that's looking awesome. And the last one is weapon schema blades, like cleaver, sickle, hunting knife, and the dagger. Of course I won't be making any of those since my weapon making skill is like zero. So I can only craft like 25 quality items and I don't like that fact. So we will be skipping that one. What's that? Skin of clean water. That's awesome. Now also mm, I have absolutely no idea how to make feathers. So that kind of a suck because there is no chicken coop, no feather nest, no, no, no nothing. Uh, that I'm aware of. If you have any information on that, please let me know in the comment section down below. How can I get more feathers? Because apparently, well, I can make myself a coffin. Barrel on stand empty. Okay, cool. I can make it. That's fantastic. So let's make a barrel. And then we'll, we will breed some brew. Good. Quite unfortunately, that is only deco stuff, so that kind of a suck. So, in today's episode, what we're going to be doing, we are going r right over there, because I found quite cool POI that I, ha that I have not loot looted just yet. And actually, in the meantime, because, well, during the night, and during the night time, nothing is happening. So, I went back to my old place and got uh, that cooker. So yeah, and also brought some stuff that I had over there. Right. Uh, do I need to eat something? Fortunately, no. So let's take some gold in case I will find... In case I will find a merchant. Merchant? I don't know if the merchants are actually available in this, in this mod, at least for me. Right. Okay. Nothing is flying above my head. So let me just continue going over there because that is a really cool POI that I wanted to show you in the previous episode, but we did not manage. Well, actually, I did not manage to do that. So I, I, I think I will do that in today's episode. So let's go over there. Let's see what is it all about. So catch you on the flip side. Okay, then. So here we are. The POI that I was talking about. It is kind of a big, but what is amazing about this it has a horse! Look at that! Horse block zero 01. This is zero 02. <laughs> oh, look at that! I have a horse! Can I grab it? Can I ride it? Oh! <laughs> okay, that was kind of awkward. But I have a horse! Look at that! Bam! There we go! Your horse! Hold the saddle in your hands to add it. <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> okay, take, add bags, wandering has been disabled, okay, add saddle, I don't have a saddle, so I'm gonna take my horse in my pocket, well, that's quite obvious, <laughs> but that's okay, this is why I wanted to, uh, to come in here, because I've seen that horse, and I wanted to show you guys how the hell you can get a horse, well, actually, I did not knew that you can take that horse with you. But sound of those doors are absolutely awesome and fantastic. 
That's why that POI caught my attention and I never went in except for opening those doors, but I was scared shitless. <laughs> okay. Okay, that looks like a, 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 a inn. An inn. Can I talk to you? Pick up barrel. Do you mind if I see what's inside those lockers? Ah, frying pan. You are hiding frying pans in here. That's good. Eh, nothing special if you ask me. Cooking pot is not something that I'm looking for. Bucket. No, okay. Nothing, 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 nothing. Right, so let's continue. Let's see what else we can find in here. Hello? Don't run away. I mean you no harm, at least not yet. Okay, here's another frying pan. How am I on the space? Not that great, but not so bad either. So, that's okay. And look at that, a jackpot. Another cauldron that I can, that I can snatch. I can take with me, because now I can make... Ooh, and here's another one. With that cauldron, I can make um, alchemy bench, which is a fairly easy thing to do. So I'm quite happy and satisfied about that. Right, I don't know if there's going to be anybody who will try to kick my balls. Let's hope that it's going to be all nice and quiet in here. But you never know. Oh, and I have found this awesome first aid kit bandage. They are quite rare, and I would like to know how to make them. Let me just check. Aid kit, first aid kit bandage. Oh, that is locked behind a book. And I need aloe cream and cloth fragment. Not that bad. Not that bad. And it actually, and it actually can and will save your life when you are hit. Because if you have seen my previous episode, uh, or my previous episodes when I tackled with bandits, they do quite a lot of damage. Okay, we're not going up just yet. So let's see what do we have in those rooms. I'm not in here. You haven't seen me. Uh, that was kind of a stupid cloth jacket of quality 26. It's not that great. But at least nobody is attacking me and nobody is giving fuck about me. Oh. Man, I mean lady. You are so scary. Okay, you are staying in here. No, I am not letting you out. Yeah. Whew. That was creepy. Ooh, skull cup. Hmm, I, I'm wondering why does this one stay in here? Because if it's skull? I don't know, but, well, yeah. Uh, I can scrap it. Now, let's go. Let's see what else we can find in this inn. That's a twin room. Another skull cup. That's quite interesting. And the torch. Why would I need so many torches? Oh, and quite unfortunately, there is no mining helmet in this mod. Well, that's quite obvious since... Since, you know... Hello? It's like a common room. Shed. Since there is no electricity. That's gloves. Cloth gloves. And cure leather. Okay, those suck. Ooh, look at that. And hops flower. That's really nice. Now I can plant the hops and make myself some beer. That is really, really good. Now, quite unfortunately, I cannot make any hoe whatsoever. So that is a bit of a bugger in terms of... Uh, in terms of... There must be something hidden over there. I can fill it in my boats. Okay, my bones are weak. Right, um, so yeah, I, I, I cannot make hoe, so farming is quite a big of an issue. And I would like to definitely make something, uh, 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 farm something, and there's a bone. Well, that sucks. All of that, except for the horse, all of that sucks. What about saddle? Can I make a saddle? Yes, I can. With some metal strips, cloth fragments, and saddle bags. That is awesome. Metal strips. Oh, it's locked behind something. Right, okay, so that's done. We have visited that location. We got a horse, which is just great in my opinion. 
and now I need to go back home, make a alchemy bench, and start finishing alchemy bench. That's something that I want to make with some... I don't know if I have enough paper. That kind of a suck, but still. I have a bowl, I have cauldrons, so that is okay. Man, sound of those doors is absolutely also went fantastic. Right, so let me just go back home, settle in, and then I'll get back to you. Well, okay, but I guess in medieval times... In medieval times, there are apparently airdrops. <laughs> and planes are flying. Okay, that's just great. Uh, we can get that airdrop soon, but first let me just go back home and unload myself. And then we'll venture off to see what's in the airdrop. Look at that, there it is, supply crate. I don't know from where that plane was, maybe Leonardo da Vinci made, made it. Fuck. Okay, that was kind of expected, you know, to find it, to find out that there's absolutely nothing in here. This is like, you know, game mechanics and uh, since this is medieval times, I have not seen, I have not seen uh, the, what do you call it, plane. Uh, but on the other hand, yeah, it would be cool to find some support. Although loot table is really, really great for me. Not to mention the fact that I've died two times. But still, it is not that bad in this mod. At least not right now. I just want to venture out a bit. to See what else we can find in those places and actually I've seen a few mines and there's one as well so let's venture down and uh, let's see what we can find in here except for prom not promethium uh, potassium nitrate which is great but I don't think I can use it for anything special uh, I can make a gunpowder but I don't know what for I would need one or I would need some hello yeah, just turn you back around and don't give a freak about me. Right, okay, so si since it is raining, it's heavily raining, so I guess... Holy... <laughs> what the fuck are you? Fuck off! I'm gonna sling you, slingshot you to death. Okay, I did not expect him to find here. I wanted to find a... Are you whispering? all you've got to say all right so I'm back from my trip to get the airdrop which was, which was completely empty except for the fact that I found death with an orc well he wasn't there anymore fortunately I guess right so um, <laughs> that was quite unsuccessful but at least at least I can continue make a smelted iron so let's fulfill that mission and let's see what else we can do? This is not the hot you dumb twat. Forge iron. Gather forged iron. Anvil. Anvil hammer. What the hell is that? Now that you have smelted iron, it's time to squish up real good. For this, we either find or buy or still using harvest an ingot press. Ingot press. Ingot press. I can make it, but there's a pulley and forged iron involved. And I cannot make any pulleys. So, okay. Come again. What was that? Squish real good. Find, buy or steal. Buy. I have absolutely no idea where to find it. So that definitely kind of a suck. What can I do with it? Recipes. Yeah, 
I need that ingot press, I guess. Machete blade, oh, look at that. That is really awesome. Okay, so that was completely useless. Gather forced iron. Hmm. On that note, forced iron I need for this one, for the horse. So I'm kind of stuck, except for the fact that I can actually drink something or make something to drink and eat and, you know, roast meat. Let's at least feast on that beauty. Although, you know what, let me just not waste any of that before I really need to increase my health because that's the situation I want to be in. And actually, let's brew some golden rod tea or actually yellow tea. So let's craft it. Let's craft too, and then we will venture out. And you might be wondering where we will, where we will be venturing out, since I have found orcs over there. I'm willing to go right over there during the night time, because well, the night time actually sucks. Nothing is happening during the night time, so it's really not that big of a deal. Okay, I need to increase my wellness and then hydration, fullness, wellness. This is really nice to have a roast meat like that. So we'll be venturing out west and maybe I will be able to find a crystal crystal thingy jig crystal forest that I'm hoping to actually find over there quite unfortunately without a horse yet but that might change over time okay guys so it's rainy as hell so I will see you when I will see you when I will find something cool to tell you more all about that. Okay, so this is really something unexpected, something that I did not expect. I actually stayed overnight in one of the houses, like over there, because I found a house and since it was like high attitude, I've decided, well, holy shit, I need to stay over there because I will get cold. And then I continued going, I continued going west. And there's absolutely nothing over here, except for the guy that he was just standing. And look at that, took to the smithing merchant. Wrench. I can have a wrench. I can have a goddamn wrench. Oh. Mystic chisel. I found this baby. Iron broadsword. 4,000. Iron of a core, crappy quality and the wrench I, iron crave, cravers you know what 1.8 thousand how much does this is this worth nothing 300 40 30 that's absolutely not much but still it is so cool I have absolutely no idea if he's gonna be staying here but I will save that waypoint as a merchant Uh, quite unfortunately, he don't has uh, he doesn't have a press, but he does have the wrench. So if I will get enough money, he will restock on day seven. Hmm, that might be quite interesting, quite interesting experience. But other than that, holy shit! I know that wrenches are like uh, unlocked after day twelve, the twenty, and it doesn't seem to be the case. In my opinion. But yeah, also, the oh shit, there is a wolf, there is a wolf, probably it will go aggro on me. Uh, I don't know if I want to aggro him, I can always go inside, he won't mind me being here, I guess. And I don't think he can actually get in, since he does not have any thumbs. Right, so let's see what we can find in here, maybe there's gonna be like hidden... Uh, treasure over here. Just keeping the fingers crossed. Oh, hello! Oh, bye bye! That was fairly easy. Uh, really? With this type of a weapon? Even wolves do not pose any threat to me. Well, maybe orcs and other type, other type of dead jazz. Right, so during the night time I heard some strange noises coming out from outside, but nothing was closing in, so I did not bother you guys with uh, with all those sounds, but yeah, in here is absolutely zip zero nada. Complete bollocks. Okay, so I guess I will continue going.
westbound. And there is a danger awaiting me. Right, so let's... Hello. Okay. That's what you get, bitch. Tormented car. What the hell is that? Oh, you had some money. And a wooden clump. A pretty decent quality. But it doesn't have any... But it doesn't have any value whatsoever. Right, so I start to see quite strange creatures. Tormented guys and other type of such as. Meaning, I might be getting close to some really not cool areas. But I don't think I want to be in. If you ask me. Let's check this house first. Hello, ladies. Okay. You didn't go aggro on me, but your mother looks like she will. Okay. Okay. Nice and beautiful winter over here. I really like it. But, uh, I don't know why it's so winterish. Why it's why the elevation is so high. No idea. Hmm. Okay, I guess I need to go further and further west, and maybe one day I will find that crystal forest. Oh, bird's nest. Wow, that is something extraordinary. This is the first bird, bird's nest I have ever found in wild, in the wilderness. But that's okay, that's gonna be one. You just appeared out of nowhere, lady. Are you like a witch? Oh, shit! What the fuck is that? And he's running. Food merchant. Uh... Borek, run! You're bleeding! Hmm. I might not be prepared for such adventures <coughs> just yet. Alrighty then. So, okay, guys, I think that's gonna be it for today's episode. We have died twice in today's episode, so yeah, I guess. I have something in common. I do die twice in episodes. Right, so that's going to be it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, remember to leave a like, comment about the gameplay, subscribe to the channel if you're new and you like what you see, and I hope that we'll see each other in the next episode. So, till then, it's easy, have fun, and happy gaming. Bye-bye, Dragon Slayers.